push it on the phone. Nice. All right. Cool. First video. I am Tree Boy. Tree Boy. Tree. Oh, dude. What should my What should my sign be? Like, how, how does a T work? A T is like that, and then what should be like? Tree B. Tree Boy. A. Or like. Oh yeah, there we go. Tree Boy. Yo, what up? It's your boy Tree Boy. Right, I'm gonna do that. It's like. Alright, I'm gonna teach. Okay. Alright, yo, what's up? It's your boy Tree Tree Boy here. We. Alright. Tree Boy. Yeah. That's. That's gonna be mine. Okay. Anyways, welcome to the video. Very first video. Right now, um, I'm gonna start it off with some. With some reviews, actually. So. You know. I opened this. Uh, I opened this container earlier. Of Jif peanut butter. And I was like, wow. What if somebody analyzed the taste of Jif peanut butter? Like, can you drink? No, you can't drink it. It's too thick. But, like, Jif peanut butter, eat it, right? You eat it. So, we are currently going to... Alrighty, here it is, here it is, here it is. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do some reviews of Jif peanut butter up in, up in this beezy, you feel me? All right, so the deal with the Jif peanut butter is it's really good. You know, the creamy the creaminess of it is what really gets you at the beginning. It's like the first, bam, and you just like open that top off, and usually the top is nice and creamy. And just, whew, now let's discuss the aroma real quick. So the aroma of this peanut butter, it's very, if I could describe it in one word, <laughs> I'd have to say peanuts. I don't mean that in all seriousness, because if you've ever tasted a peanut, you know. That's what peanuts taste like. Let's close the lid, let's read the label really quick here. So, creamy peanut butter. 7 grams of protein per serving. How much is a serving? 2 tablespoons. There are about 41 servings per container. So, 7 times 41 is math I don't want to do right now. But I'm going to anyways. 7... 7, 14, so I just did a quick calculation and there is a shit ton of protein in here, so, you know, if you eat the whole thing, then you're going to be bodybuilding, so, uh, let's pop open that tap, very aromatic, we're going to first try it with a taste from the finger, straight from the finger, nothing else, raw, you feel, oh yeah, There you go. Alright. So that is what peanut butter tastes like. And it tastes like peanuts. The Jif creamy peanut butter large container tastes like peanuts. It's very good. But we first we need to see what it tastes like off of different surfaces. So what we're going to start with is here I have se several objects. I'm going to pull them out one at a time. Um, and we're gonna start with we're gonna start with a fork because <sighs> you know that's kind of non-traditional. People don't usually eat peanut butter with forks. Peanut butter is plural because there are multiple peanut butters in this container. Um, anyway, so just gonna dip it in there. Oh yeah. It's not bad, honestly. Mm mm. It's really not bad. Oh wow, I feel my teeth. So it really sticks to the interior of your mouth. Well, I should have a cup of water, but I'm not gonna. Well, we're professional here. We don't. Yeah, I need water. All right, I changed my mind. I didn't really want water, so I substituted. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna be using. All right, so peanut butter. We are going to be first. So we did the fork. Very good. Um, as you can see, there are grooves in the fork here. So it, it provides kind of an airway. And just like, so oxygen can come into your mouth and just enrich the flavor of the creamy peanut butter. And it's, it's stellar, really. It is. It really is. I would highly recommend a fork 
for eating peanut butter. Next up, we have a Coke can. Uh, this is Coca-Cola Cherry Zero. You see a lot of black ink on that can, so we're going to see how that impacts the flavor. All right, wiggle it in there, twist it, pull it out. Oh, shit, pull that game on point. All right, we're going to... All right. Mmm. All right. So i got to be honest. Messier. Um, due to the thin the thin gauge of the aluminum that creates the can, um, it provides like a a very thin layer of peanut butter. It's like eating peanut butter coated cherries, except there's no cherry. Oh shit! It's cherry flavored Coke. There you go. Problem solved. Um. So. That's my review for the Coke can. I wouldn't really recommend it. I mean, unless you're really in a pinch, you're on the toilet, you got a can of peanut butter next to you, you need something to flush that stuff out, just grab your Coke can that you should have with you on the toilet at all times and just shove it right in there and slurp it right up. So, yeah. Let's get some milk. All right. Real good. Alright, so the next item that we will be going off of is... Oh yeah, here we go. Got my laptop here. So, I'm going to be using this. Um, I don't know how this is going to work. Might have to use some assistance from the fork here. So, what we're going to do... and So, when you're here and you just have a computer, for a middleman type of thing, like say dealer, middleman, buyer. Let's do that, okay? So dealer needs to give it to the middleman, and you can use your finger or fork or anything, and you gotta bring that that creamy, the creamy peanut butter up to the front, right? And just wipe it right there, wipe it right there, and then you set your fork aside, and now, you can carefully take your laptop, oh yeah, there we go, see? Nice, nice peanut butter on there. All right. So I gotta say, not the most practical method. Kind of messed up my sticker. Mm. It kind of leaves residual that then gets on your shirt somehow. So probably wouldn't recommend that. I mean, if you want to, by all means, it's a free country. Do what you want. That's cool. I'm down with it. I'm down. It's cool. It's cool. It's chill. Um, so I rate that, like, I should have been rating things the whole time. So with the finger, I'm going to rate that a 10 out of 10, because that's how you should always eat peanut butter no matter what. But if you feel like getting creative, then the fork provides airway. I'm going to say a 7 out of 10, because the, the metal, the, the alloys and the metal kind of mess with the flavor of the creamy peanut butter, you feel. And so, with the can, I would probably rate that a 4 out of 10, because that wasn't very pleasant. And with the laptop, probably a 2 out of 10. Um... But yeah, the next item that we're going to do is the Bible, actually. So, we got the New Testament here. Um, I paid a lot of money for this. An old dude definitely did not hand it to me. Paid like 300 bucks for this. Premium edition. 100% um, pure holiness. Um, pictures of God's penis. Uh, it's, it's amazing, actually. It's just, uh, it really lets me be in touch with my, my inner Jesus. So, what we're going to do is kind of the same thing. I don't want to do that, though, because then it gets on the pages. And you don't want to mess up the pages. So, for some serious, holy-tasting peanut butter, this is what you're going to do. Never done this before, but that's a lie. I did it, like, five minutes ago, and that's what gave me the idea for this video. Anyways, you're going to take the Bible. See that? New Testament. If you have a bigger Bible, then use a corner. Use the same method I used for the laptop. Scoop it to the front. Bam. New Testament. Frickin' no cussing. We got some pages in there. We do not want peanut butter on these pages. Because then that would ruin the integrity of them. And it wouldn't be as holy, you know? So what we're going to do, we're going to use the spine there. And we're going to kind of curve the top of the spine to create a lip. You know, a seal. So we're going to scrunch it down like that a bit. You feel? Alright. You feel? Who's, I don't talk like that. Alright, so. Take it. Put it in the peanut butter jar and... 
Oh yeah, just a nice, uh, oh, I almost got some on the pages there. All right. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Take it off of here. Oh, you kinda gotta, kinda get your tongue in there, you feel? You know, you feel, I keep saying that. All right, all right. And therefore, holy brothers, you who share in heavenly calling, consider Jesus the apostle and high priest of our confession. And I think that perfectly describes how it tasted off of here. Really interpret it however the hell you want to. Ouch. Alright, and uh, I think that pretty much wraps up today's video. You know, that's 10 minutes. We're going to keep it at that. Um, I will see you guys next video. Uh, we're going to hit it hard. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. I'm going to put no links there, no links there, no links there, and no links there because I'm recording this on my phone. So don't click on the screen unless you really feel like just being an annoying twat. Okay? So we're going to do that. Um, these are some scissors and have a great day.